everything's possible in our heads. The virtual world is really the closest to our imagination. The minute we go into the lab, we're instantly constrained by the machines in front of us. Today, everything can be imagined in 3D. It's much more powerful. Virtually every product around you is designed on the computer. We apply this incredible technology to help improve all the products that are around us, except in medicine. Your doctor is still dealing with 2D. It's been always said, a picture is worth a thousand words, and that is true in healthcare as much as anything. Each field moves at a certain time, uh, but we believe that 3D technology is ready and that medicine will get the same benefits that we've seen in every other industry once they embrace 3D. My daughter was born with a congenital heart disease the left and right ventricles are reversed. So she's had a pacemaker since she was two. The biggest risk for her uh, is that her weaker ventricle wears out. Typically, complications set in when she's about 30. She's 28 now. Being a lifelong patient, you realize that a lot of people don't have a lot of involvement in their medical care. It's a little bit different when it's like the parent of a kid with a condition. So my dad got really involved and the doctors opened up to him because he's an engineer. As an engineer, you take things apart. With the human body, we didn't build it, but there's no reason why we can't understand it. We just need a different set of tools. We all see car crashes and we see crash dummies in them, but uh, they don't actually build hundreds of different kinds of cars. They actually build it on the computer and they crash it thousands of times. What we do for a living is actually help companies who build planes and cars to optimize the performance. I remember thinking, why can't we do that for the medical field? The heart for most of us is a mystery. So the Living Heart Project basically is building a realistic virtual version of the human heart. Her case is very unique. So as you can imagine, there's very little data, uh, no reliable data at all. And I thought if we could take our technology and build a virtual model of a human heart, we could demonstrate that the biggest way to improve the healthcare system we have is to help people to manage their health better to give them the tools in a form that makes sense. What we're able to learn from the Living Heart Project is providing insights into decision-making. Everybody understands what the technology can do because they can see it, they can experience it. Those 3D experiences are incredibly powerful. So now, if I had an imaging study, you could make a model of my heart and you could actually run simulations of thousands of patients that don't actually exist. So I could know how this will progress, how any interventions would affect my heart. As her doctors tell us, by the time they see the symptoms, it's probably too late. So we're helping to give them the insights of what to look for first. You see coronary arteries, a little bit of fat. But... Ultimately, I would like to be doing bench to bedside, so being at the interface between uh, researchers and doctors, um, kind of doing what my dad is already doing. <laughs> I think having a, a child with a health condition can be really scary, and what my dad did was to take that from being afraid of the issue and and make something out of it. And, you know, I try to do the same thing where instead of being afraid of going to the doctor and worrying about the future, I want to be that doctor. The best thing to do is take what you're given and be inspired by it.